So what did one wall say to the other wall? I'll meet you at the corner. <laughs> because they join. Perfect. So I'm going to be honest with you, I haven't been this excited about an Air Max 95 since I can even remember. This has got to be up there for top 10 Air Max to come out this year, especially GRs. In today's episode, broskies, we are reviewing the Air Max 95 Black Neon. Now there's a couple names for this sneaker, the Black Neon, the Reverse Neon, and some other Neons that people are calling it, but to me, Black Neon, it just sounds cool. But of course, for the OG Air Max fans out there, you defo know what this sneaker's inspired by. The OG Air Max 95 Neon Green, that is one of my grails. Now the OG colorway did retro a couple years ago, but we all know how that drop went. Apparently a lot of shipments were lost, which means a lot of people missed out, and yes, myself included but i've just about gotten over it so we're not going to talk too much about it of course this sneaker being inspired by that though i just had to mention it now one of the sneakers that i actually already own was actually inspired by the og colorway anyway and it kind of looks like the og married this colorway it would have made this pair minus the color of the midsole but the colorway i'm talking about is the kiss my airs 1.0 now i've spoken about that silhouette countless times on this channel already it's my most one air max 95 of the year so far and i kind of think it's got a contender to worry about this black neon is absolutely beautiful now let's start off with the box though just to get it out the way because there's nothing really to talk about here being a jd exclusive as well i kind of expected something anything anything better than this but of course it's a gr colorway so it is what it is does come standard only with the red nike box no jd exclusive tag or anything like that now other than my box looking like it was in the champions league midweek the product sticker does say nike air max 95 jd and the official colorway is black vault and anthracite now the price to this air max and all 95s in general has gone up and it's an absolute madness 175 pounds 175 quid they were 110 once upon a time, hence the name 110s. But look, I'm not going to get into it just because I actually got a discount. Now I got 20% off, so I got these for what, 140 all in? And I can't complain too much, but the retail price, 175, it's a bit too much nowadays. Now I'm going to leave some purchase links down below as well, just in case there are any restocks and you want to get yourself a pair. Now the Air Max 95 for me has always been true to size and it's the same with the black neons. Although like most Air Max 95s, as soon as you put them in, they're a little snug, but once you loosen them up, then it's all good. So whatever Air Max 95 sizing or even Air Max in general that you normally go with, I just stick to that. And if you are wide footer and you've never had an Air Max 95, I definitely go half a size up now i'm a big sucker when it comes to vault and neon green colors on air max sneakers honestly and this pair i wasn't even meant to get them in but here we are but as we make our way around this sneaker at first glance you wouldn't expect the materials on this shoe the upper mostly where the gradients are and where the toe box is it's all felt now the pictures didn't really make it that clear i mean i'm not complaining because they look so good but, i mean if you're expecting other materials then you might be disappointed for me it's not that deep i mean yes you might have to take extra care of them but it does look good but the comparisons to the og neon green colorway this one defo stands on its own and i do actually like that this is more darker than the OG. Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying this is better, but at the same time, I do actually like the look of these more. I love the dark grey gradients into the black though, this does look so nice. Now the hits of neon green does stand out a lot more because most of the upper towards the top is in black. Now the lace hoops do stand out that little bit more as well, just because of that mesh there. So it's kind of peeking through, which is pretty cool. Now the 3M does return to this sneaker going up the tongue and at the heel counter as well. I just love the 3m on an air max 95 it's not too much but it does enough of course they come with those black laces with the black tongue here as well and that og style to the tongue with the air max branding very reminiscent yet again to the og now the sock liner is of that soft cotton and it's very comfy on foot and it is in black just like the insole with that nike air max branding in green now we have the nike air towards the back just on top of that 3m panel and i saw someone's comment and they said this would look so much better if that bit was actually in 
and green. Now, if I think about it now, I'm kind of glad they kept it as it is, just because in my opinion anyway, there would have been too much green towards the back. And especially because it's right next to that Nike swoosh. But I guess either way, it would have been fire. Now, the Air Max 95, to my knowledge anyway, was the first Air Max sneaker with a black midsole. And I genuinely think, apart from the Air Max Plus, this sneaker does it the best. And especially with those neon green hits to the air units. Man, this sneaker is special. But as we finish up on the outsole though, again, we have the hits of that neon green towards the forefoot. With the iconic Air Max 95 outsole, and we have that hit of gray with the Nike Air brand in there in green. A very rugged outsole and one that will defo last you. So the Air Max 95 black neon, reverse neon, whatever you want to call it. What are we saying broskies? Are these a buy or a buy? Now I've got to be straight up, I know my answer because I got them for my personal collection and I'm meant to be on a band. This colorway though has to be one of the best Air Max we've had this year. And dare I say it, one of the best Air Max 95s ever. Now it might be recency bias, but there's been a lot of hype about a GR sneaker that we don't really see every day. Now I'm still holding out for another retro to the OG neon green, but I know that's not gonna be for at least a couple years now. So this one, along with my Kiss My Airs 1.0, I can't complain too much. This black neon is a lovely sweet spot between the two. And best believe broskies these are defo getting a lot of wear and if i have to nitpick a little bit and be a sneaker karen if you will i have to say the qc isn't the best there's a lot more glue on this sneaker than i'm used to with the air max 95s and i've seen quite a few of them i've seen worse though so it's not too too bad but it's defo something i've noticed if i have to rate out of 10 in terms of qc i'd say it's about a 7 defo wearable and keepable it's not that deep but just beware there might be some more glue than you want but overall this colorway this sneaker I cannot speak about it highly enough. It is indeed an absolute fire. But broskies, comment down below and let me know what you think about the Black Neon 95. Is this one you managed to cop or was this an absolute miss? Leave it all down below and I will pin the best comments. But as always, thank you for stopping by. Don't forget to do all of that good stuff. Like, comment, subscribe, share and until the next episode, take care. Years ago, but we all know how... What do we all know? Because I don't know. What do you know? But I just had to mention that. You know one thing I need to control when I'm talking is breathing. Because I lose my breath because I'm trying to get so much nonsense out, bro. Breathe! My most worn sneaker in my collection, pro. No, what are you lying for? It's not. Bro, I'm slipping and sliding on this chair, bro. They didn't get it, and a lot of people. That's what's putting me off, bro. That advert. Now, when it comes to the sizing, I haven't even tried them on. <laughs> I haven't even tried them on. I'm trying to tell you about sizing. Madness. Now, I'm a sucker for some. For, for the some. For the some. I wasn't meant to do it, but we all know how that hat. <laughs> Especially Air Max. <laughs> to show off those lace. I don't know. I don't know. Hello. Hello. <laughs>